Hi everybody and welcome to Storytellers of Mallorca. Another wonderful guest with us today, Tracy Furness, and she's going to tell us about her story, her wonderful story about Mallorca and why she loves being here um, so much and for so long. So Tracy, hi. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> wonderful having you here with Good us. Good morning. Yeah. It is, it is. Tell us, how long have you been here? Well, I've been here 27 years living here, um, but obviously first time I came out, I was 16, just for your normal holiday, and yep. didn't like it yep. at all. Then I came back when I was 23, so that's like 13, so it's good, it's not <laughs> <laughs> And uh, only because um, the person that used to look after our, maintain our uh, boat, our engineer, he moved across here. Right. So obviously we followed with our boat and brought our boat to Adriana. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. so we used to be the little boats there. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's where we are now, Port Adriano, and it's a beautiful, beautiful oh, place. Lovely. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, a lot of hands in here. I'm going on the run a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like three times the size yes. of what it used to be. Yes. And, and, and the boats, I mean, we, we did have a boat. We had a 50 foot one. It was classed as one of the bigger ones. Right. And now it's like, one of the baby ones, you yes, know, yeah, so, yeah. because like, these yes, amazing things, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. but it's, it's a lovely life. Yeah, and uh, and what drew you, what, what you know, made you want to come to New York or to live here? Well, well, as I said to you, like, we followed our engineer, basically, yep. and then it, you come, we used to come uh, three, four times yeah, a year, and um, obviously you get yeah. yeah, and then um, I split with my boyfriend then, and I met my husband here, and um, uh, we met and married within three months, and so wow. I moved here, because <laughs> wow, yeah. he lived here, right. Englishman, yes. not a Spanish man. Right. Yeah. And, and as you said, it's grown you know, so much, and they've put so much into the into the marina here, all the changes. And the man who who um, designed the latest one, uh, Philip Philippe Stark, Philip, That's it. Uh, yeah, from yeah. there, I mean, you know, he had a big input into it. From there. And you've seen all those changes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the changes, you know, you, you can't believe the changes, not just in the boating industry, in, in the property industry as well. Um, and it's just gone crazy. Yes. You know, it's like Monaco now. Right. The new Monaco, right. as they say now. Do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're calling yeah. us here. Yeah. 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 They've, everyone's basically saying, yeah, well, you have to do the tax thing as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to become the new Monaco. So, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's good. And it's, it's, it's a nice life. It's a lovely life. And I, I don't think I'd ever go back to it. Not ever. Yeah. I've been in too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you've got family in that here as well, so they were yeah. they were born here. Yeah, right? they were born here. My yes. two boys were born here, yeah. and obviously I've got an extended family now. So right. we, I've actually got five boys and one girl. Right. Um, and then three grandchildren. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Which is lovely. I love yes, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, that's good. Yeah. yeah. And you and you have the time to spend with them. Yes, I do now because. Um, uh, two years ago, I sold my business, okay. one of my businesses. Um, so I get a little bit more time, free time to spend right. some time with them, which is nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, spend some time, you know, with the children as well. Sure, sure, sure. And with the businesses in, in Spain, you know, anybody who's looking at this is wanting to come here and, and uh, to open up a business. Um, is it easy to do, or are there a lot of challenges that, that people have to face? It's easy if you get yourself a good hysteria um, but knows what he's talking about. Yeah, it's easy and if you abide by all the rules and regulations and the laws, yeah. Don't come in the morning and go to the beach every day and out in the clubs every night because you won't have a business. For whatever money you come with, you'll be going home and done. Right. So um, don't think that, you know, it's fun yeah. because you do have to work. Sure. And if you work hard, you reap the benefits, yes. as it as in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. And the and the, the businesses that you've been involved in, have they always evolved around 
uh, been involved around the yachting industry? Or? It has, yeah. Um, obviously, I had um, uh, the test yachts yes. to start off with, yep. and then we sold that. Then um, we then started another one, which was Lifestyle Charters. Right, yeah. And I sold that one two years ago. Um, we now have Lifestyle Properties, which we estate agents. And we have lifestyle building solutions, so that's obviously we do all kinds of renovations. Um, and then we have diamond estates in the as well. Okay. So, yeah, as much as like you want to sort of like go down, you come back up again. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. But it's, it's fun. I love working. I absolutely love working. Yes. And yes. I love meeting everybody, and it's nice, you, you know. I mean, basically, uh, the clients that came 26 years ago with their children, the children are grown up. Um, and uh, some of them have even got children now, so it's like we're on the next generation to generation, yes. which is really nice. Yes. And it's like yes. my two boys, um, they're both captains now, so it's like, yeah. That's wonderful, isn't it? Full circle. circle comes around again, and yeah. with the grandchildren, maybe. Maybe they're the same, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. I mean, when you're looking at that as the industry, I mean, the yachting industry has, has taken off all around the world uh, and people wanting to, to spend their time um, away from the crowd. And that's where the, I think the beauty of yachting comes in, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's nothing or anywhere in the world that is more beautiful and tranquil than, than sitting out in the middle of the sea. Yes. It, it's just amazing, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not a beach person, I have to yeah, admit. Right, no, no. I think it's because I spent so many years on boats, like 35 years on boats, that you just, you know, I can't actually remember the last time I went to the beach. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's, that's, that's nice, nice to be able to, be able to do that. And yeah. it's becoming, you know, for those that have the income, they can spend the money to do that themselves, they don't have to buy. No, they can charter. No, they can yeah. charter and they, they can go into a yacht share as well. And I mean, going back when we were first I mean, it was all the boats were bare boats because we only really went up to 50 footers. Right. Like now, you know, we charter up to 120 So, a lot of what I do now is, is crew boats. So, and it's, it's much nicer as well because. Go to sleep of the night time because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that you've got the skipper and the crew looking after the boat. Whereas, like when we used to do their boat, yeah, uh, yeah, like they go and you think, Oh my god, like, everything's gonna be okay, yeah, 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 yeah. so totally different style mentality. I mean, a certain a certain market likes the beer boat, yeah, and, and, uh, and the um, I think with the sailboats, you go out on the flotilla, yeah, exactly, yeah. so that, that uh, attracts a lot. But then there's the others that uh, just want to, as you said, just to go out there, yeah, yeah. enjoy being on the boat, not have to worry and wake up every few hours or every noise, yeah, going yeah, around. Exactly, and it's, it's, it's the most beautiful place to be in the world, yes. you know. I mean, it's uh, like uh, when, when we go on holiday, you know, we go to Mexico, um, Thailand, wherever, I always think just take me back to paradise. This That's, is paradise. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's lush green paradise, yes. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even even in the summertime when it gets really hot, it's only for a few weeks. It's, it's not too bad. I mean, at the end of the day, like you say, it's a couple of weeks when we hit in the 40s. Oh, yeah. and, and you know that it's only a couple of weeks. So, like, in your mindset, you've just got to say to yourself, you know, I've got a couple of weeks of this. And then, yeah. Yeah, as long as you've got a pool or the sea to jump into, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. And that's so close. I mean, the island from north to south is, you know, 50 minutes to an hour. Yeah. You know, it's not far. So wherever you are on the island, working out from that, yeah. you know, the beach or the sea or a pool is, is close by. And, yeah, you can call up and, you, and you do change your lifestyle, don't you? And, you know, you get up and you do your exercises or you're walking the dog or whatever first thing in the morning yes. or later at night. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and then, yeah. and then in the daytime, you're sort of in air conditioned. That's, I mean, that's pretty much the way it goes, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Unless you're running around the uh, the keys and like they, they just drop in and you're yes, thinking, oh yes. my god, I look so attractive. <laughs> yeah, and talking to somebody like her like this, oh my yeah, god. <laughs> yeah, no, no, when it's, when it's hot. It really yeah, yeah. Hot. But I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, no. I, I and obviously, you know, I mean, the youngsters nowadays, I mean, there's so many more like 
super yachts and everything where they can, they can get on and yes. like do stewardessing and deck hand and everything. It's an amazing thing to get into. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And you can see so many parts of the world. Um, it is 24-7, yeah. seven days a week for like eight months. Yes. And really and truly, your, your time, your downtime is, you know, November, December, because then in, in January, you're starting putting all the boats in the yards to yeah. do the antifam and polishing and servicing and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. So, you, you know, the cycle starts again, yeah. and then they're all ready for charter, and then the charters come. Yes. Yeah. 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 And with the with the young people as well, when they're coming onto it, yeah, there's the opportunity to come into an industry with minimal um, investment. Mm. Yes, you have to get some qualifications yeah, now. Yeah. You have to do your your SDCW um, and a few other qualifications, yeah. and then but you can the money that you're getting you can put towards higher qualifications. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I know a lot of people say that they are expensive to do these courses, but at the end of the day, you know, they're for safety. Right. You know, the majority of them are for safety. So, and like, if you're driving a boat like this and you've got clients on board, they're, you know, they're your responsibility. Yes, yes. But the money that you put into it, you get tenfold back out. Right. Tenfold. Yes. It's like, I mean, it's just crazy amount of money these yes. youngsters earn yes. now. Yeah, yeah, and then that comes through. Like we both, you know, we both know the stories of when you leave the yachting industry, it is a bit of a challenge to come back down unless you've set yourself up in a, yeah, in a good yeah, way. So exactly, you know, yeah. the money coming in is great, but you have to be financially aware of what to do with it. Yeah, and plus you're sort of like it, it's it's quite difficult as well, relationship wise, um, because you know you're going to be. Like away, your husband's gonna be away maybe for a month, a couple of months, yeah. whatever, and then and you're on your own maybe with the children as well. That's quite difficult. But you overcome those challenges because yes. you get quality time as well. Yes. And a lot of the bigger boats now do rotation, so like two months on, two months off. Um, so basically um, you get the T V mando for two months right, and then yeah, you don't yeah. get it in yeah, the next yeah. two months. Yeah. Husband comes back. <laughs> Things change. Don't like that. Yeah. Opportunities that are there for, for the Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I would say to any youngster, do it, mm. just do it um, uh, and enjoy it. Enjoy it because you've only got a small space, it's the same as a footballer. Yes. You have a small space, a small window yes. of when you can do this because yes. you know, once you reach like my age, <laughs> you think, so, oh, I can't make down, I can't do that, I can't get out the engine room. Sure. You know, so um, yeah, you need to be fit as well. Yes. Motor. I mean, for me, all those ropes and everything. Oh my goodness me! Yeah, yeah. I just wouldn't a, know which one to pull. Yeah, it takes a bit to get used to, it, but but that's the beauty of it, and it is it is different. Also, then I'm becoming more um, open to whether you're a woman in yachting or a man in yachting. Yeah. Uh, the opportunities there's a lot more woman captains. Oh yeah, around absolutely. And a very good captain. You know, yeah. I've been surprised if I didn't think you were, but. They are wonderful, and they are yeah. very professional. Yeah. I mean, it's like um, when I was first over here, when I first started my first business, no, there wasn't any. Yep. None, absolutely none. And now I know quite a few, and I tell you what they are. And, it, and they're different to men. They are different. They're more, a lot more attentive right. as well, yes, you yes, know, yes, yes. and a lot more sort of like cautious. Obviously. Yeah. But then that, that, I think that's just a woman. But yeah, I mean, and I love it because I always used to So there are more coming through. So please, girls, if you're out there, yeah, you know, do sure. it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think it's a man's job because it's not. Right, right, right. And especially when they're on deck, you know, starting off the learning the ropes, yeah. learning everything yeah. from there, they're not just going to get it. Yeah. 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 
there. Um, so I think it's a, it's a wonderful industry for that. Yeah, it still has some work to do, like all industries, but I think it, it really is moving forward. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, absolutely. From, yeah. From when we first started out here, I mean, there really wasn't any rules and regulations, you, you know, not really. No. Um, and now there, there is loads, you have to learn them all, you have to abide by them all as well. Yes, yes. You know? yeah, for sure. Um, being here for that length of time, there must be some times of some struggles, some challenges that you had, you know, uh, living here or being in New York. Is there anything you'd like to, yeah. or you can share about those sorts of things? Any struggles, obviously, I went through a divorce. Sure. That's a struggle on its own, and obviously bringing up two two boy, teenage boys by yourself and, and running a full time company, yeah, that's that's a struggle. But yes. you know, at the end of the day, you, you just got to stay strong and and uh, willpower. Yes. Oh, and determ- yes. determination is uh, yes. is a big thing, yes. and, and I think it's sort of like my, my boys now they can see how hard it was, yes. and uh, and. and Respect is amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's important as well. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And if you those that are are watching, you can see behind Tracy is this beautiful old sailing. Oh, that's that's you. Yeah, (laughs) you're just in love, aren't you? Oh, look at that. I mean, that's that is beautiful. That's been yeah. That's had a few reefs or something, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Very old. So this, uh, this part of the, the beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. And it's nice as well, like, I mean, older boats as well, we, we do re- refits on boats as well. Um, same as like we do, obviously, reforms on properties, we do the same on boats. So you can, you can turn an old boat, obviously, inside into a beautiful, you can't do much from the outside other than wrap it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you know, boats can go on for a long, long time. Yes. Like yes. a swimming. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, and uh, also for them to put to point out to them that yes, buying a yacht is a is a usually a sizable investment, um, but there's also ongoing responsibilities that they have to be aware of. So yeah. you want to be able to to make their yachting experience uh, as pleasurable as you can, rather than you know being scared off from it. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, always make sure you've got a good company that's looking after your your boat. I mean. Uh, it's best to put it on guard, and not, to be quite honest, because the, the, the one thing you don't want to do is turn up to your boat, it's been like smashed against, against the key. Yes. Uh, it's had red rain on it yes. two months ago, it's baked yeah. on, you can't get it off, yeah. Yeah. you know, and, and, and it, your, your boat is a big investment, mm-hmm. and if you don't look after it, you lose a lot of money. Yes. So, yeah. You, yeah. you know, keep up with everything all your maintenance and everything like that and yes. you you won't lose as much money as you think yeah saying that i mean if you if you own a boat you really your pocket is very very deep yes <laughs> very deep yeah 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 <laughs> i sort of wanted to, to get to that as well so that yeah. people think that okay okay they, they go to a boat show and uh, they see the price of the boat oh yeah i can afford that that's great <laughs> but 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 and 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 of course in Mallorca, um, it's finding a berth. Oh yeah, that, which is well. really, really difficult. Yeah. I, and, and they're not planning to build any more marinas no, at all. No, no. So basically you just have to, to wait for somebody that doesn't want to be in boating anymore and, and then they come up again. Yeah, 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 for that. But if you want to experience the boating, it's to come and see you. Yeah. To come and to charter a boat, get Absolutely, that experience. Yeah, yeah. And then when you, if you get some qualifications, because there are qualifications all around the world, um, get your license, get your tickets, and then experience yourself on bear boat. Yeah. Which bear boat, for those that, that don't know, bear boat is, um, is just taking the boat out by yourselves and, and you're looking at after yourself rather than having a captain on board. That's right. So, yeah. and then but you, you can't take it unless you have a license. Right. You have to have a, a boat driving license because right, people have right. turned up in the past with their car driving license <laughs> on and that doesn't work. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> it's a little bit different. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but, but they do courses. They do courses in England, Germany, yes. France, everywhere yes. all over the world. Yes, here, yeah. you do the course here on a boat as well. Yes, yeah. So and you could actually re- isn't it? Yeah, yes. you can you can rent a boat yeah. for like 4 days and you can do your your skipper's license as right. well. And then that, and that enables you to then take a boat by yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And besides, uh, and there's all, I mean, there's so many things going here. We've got a dive boat just heading out, um, one of the local dive companies here as well. Very so nice. there's so much 
water activities here you know there's so much isn't there really? there is yeah yeah i mean the, the, i don't know whether you've seen the paddle boarders going out yes. i mean it's a beautiful yes, day today isn't it morning. i mean it's yeah. flat calm today yeah, yeah and uh, and i think they have like a water sports in nearly every port yeah. and in port hours i mean they they have um the sailing school in port hours yes, yes. Uh, which I, I, I think every single child that lives here goes to, yes. you know, yeah, as part yeah. of like the summer. Um, yeah, they do. I mean, uh, my daughter went yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, my two or three. Different all of them. Yeah, 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 all yeah. the kids went there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so and and they go from the schools as well. The, the state schools, they yeah. they do it as well. Yes. Um, so there's there's lots of water sports. Yeah. Uh, you got all the flyboards and everything go from yes. here. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. Really and then fun. besides all the water, you've got the land. You've yeah. got the cycling, you've got the hiking. You've well, got the cycling here is the best in the world, I think. <laughs> Honestly, I'm biased because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I cycle. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, especially this side of the, um, the island, because if you go to Alcudia, yeah. Boyenza, it's very flat. Yes. But yes. If, you, if this side, you, you go up into the mountains, yeah. it's, yes. you, you've never been anywhere else in, in the world like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's, and Pure beauty. Yeah, because you've got your mountain biking, but you've got your road biking in yeah. there as well. So there's, mm. there's something. Well, no, I don't do mountain biking. I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> I stay on the roads. <laughs> but now with the, with the new, with the new um, electric bikes, I mean, I think they're wonderful and they've given um, certainly uh, people that would not have been able to use a normal bike, but they think they, with, a, with an electric bike, they can get out now. Yeah. And they're still doing exercise and they're getting the fitness and, and well we we used to have like normal bikes yeah. and then you know you're doing the same courses over and over again because you think well i can't get up that big mountain up there yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's far beyond me so three years ago we invested in uh, uh electric bikes nice. and nice. yeah i mean we do we our longest one is 98k we've done on electric, you, uh, yeah. yeah, you have to monitor, and you you know you have yes. to stay on the lowest one. Yes. So you uh, and people think electric bike you don't have to work, but you do. Sure, you sure. really do have to work yeah. as well. I mean, yeah. I think our bikes are like 27 kilos. Right. So if right. you run out of battery, uh, yeah, well, that's yeah, a heavy yeah, heavy thing yeah, to yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. cycle back. So yeah. you, you have to literally monitor. Yeah. But yeah, I mean the cycling here, especially in the winter, I mean you get a lot of athletes come over. Yes. And, and train here. Yes, yeah, and you get a lot of the, the, the pro cycling teams come yeah. here. A lot of them come Oof. here. They have to be here. We for had, a what was it, two weeks ago we had 8,000 8, cyclists. Really? 8,000 cyclists, wow. yeah. Wow. I knew the there's island. a lot because you yeah. see them everywhere. But yeah. Wow. I know it's funny actually because uh, like everyone we call them cockroaches. Okay. <laughs> All right. uh, I'm a cockroach as well because yeah, exactly. I say to people, yeah, but well, I'm a cockroach. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but yeah, and it's nice. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. July and August, I, I don't. July and August, I don't get on the bike. It's too yes, hot. Yes, yes. Yeah. But even in the winter, winter months here, you, yeah. you know, you can get some beautiful days yes. up in the mountains. Yeah. yeah no. And you see so much more when you cycle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Rather than time. yeah, yeah if you're in the car, car it's yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. No, no, that is. Yeah. What um, besides uh, the work and the yachting side, the sports side, there? What else do you love about being here in New York? Um, the weather, of course. Yeah. That's the best. Um. It's clean, um, and it's enjoyable. Everybody's yeah. happy. Yes. You, you know, no one's sort of like, oh, I've got to go work. And <clears throat> people don't mind going to work because you know when you get home, you, you know, you, you. You've got some hours outside. Exactly. Or to do yeah, something. yeah. Yeah. I mean, at yeah. the moment, it doesn't really start getting dark until after ten o'clock. Yes. And and it's nice because and, and for us we have lots of uh, people that come over and visit and stay with us, yeah, yeah. so it's like constant holidays all yes, the time. Yes. And it, it's very much here. There's lots of beautiful restaurants as well. Mm, mm. Um, so yeah, mm. the food is a big thing here, isn't yeah, it? The Mediterranean yeah. food, yeah. the lifestyle. It, yeah, it's, it's, it is big. Here. And, and yeah. you know we, we've got fantastic fish markets here as well. Yes. You know, I mean yes, yes. fresh fish. You just go down to the market, get your fresh fish that they've just caught right out there, yes. and you just think, oh, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, we're, it's, we're really, really lucky. If there's one thing you'd like to um, to share with people, um, sort of just as we're starting to wrap up a little bit about Mallorca, is there anything that you'd like to, to pass on? Um, if, you, if you're thinking about changing your life, mm -hmm. do you think about coming to Mallorca? Because it is, and, and a lot of people think, oh, I can't come because it's, 
sp Spanish and right. but I mean you're the same as me we work in the yachting industry yes um, everybody speaks English yes, yes. absolutely yes. everybody I mean I live up in Escap Dea and the expat community there well I think it's England actually <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know yeah. is there a Spanish person here no, yes. I haven't yes. heard one for ages yes. yeah yeah, yeah. But, but, but even in the end it's not too much you know, you can get away from that. Oh, absolutely. Or, or yeah. what else. Um, and we like to go uh, into, the, into the old town, yeah. into Parma and enjoy yeah. the old town because it's stunning, isn't it? It's yeah. beautiful. The, the architecture, the buildings there, some of the, the cafes, and it's, it is oh, unique. It's lovely. I mean, it's, it's not just English. It's like you've got all the German restaurants and everything mm -hmm. like that. And then it's like we, we go to the little old man's, we call it the little old man's bar <laughs> because it's like two little old Spanish men. Yes. And it's typical going back 40 years ago really, bar yeah. that is like love not it. not everybody would go but like we yeah, love yeah. going there yeah, and they're yeah, just yeah. so nice and yeah. and, you, and you you know up in Escap Day is very like the restaurants are very Spanish as right, well right yeah. yeah yeah but um and there's there's I mean here we have I mean how many concerts do we have here that's as well that's right the concerts yes I mean yeah. here we have in in oh, oh, oh. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a breeze there's always something. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, the concerts we have here, and then we, we have concerts in the ball ring and everything. Yes. Yeah. That's going to go yeah. again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's <laughs> all right. that's all right. So, so all year round we've got things going on. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. always. Yeah. And no, there's, there's plenty, plenty, to, plenty, plenty to see, plenty to do. But to come and experience it first, I think, try it out for a little while, see whether it fits for you. Yeah. Because some people do that; they sell everything up, they 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 buy a bar, they do something here, they yeah. commit themselves, which is very brave. It's it's great but um, they have to realize also that um, it, you have it, to work yes you have to work it's not you know let's sell everything up buy yes. a bar yeah. and then have a good time yes and drink all the profits yes. and then yeah. go yeah. back yeah. to England and you've got nothing left no, you know no, you know no. be realistic yeah you yeah, know, no, always be sure, realistic. Sure, yeah. You know, I'm, it, just, I'm just loving the view here. We're it's talking, gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, thank, thank you for I'm just going to stay here all day, yeah, I think. I think so, yeah. I mean, thanks for, you know. I'm not going back to the idea. office. Yeah, no, coming yeah. down here for this interview. It's, yeah, it's well, well, this this boat actually is for charter. It's, this one is, Yeah, is it? yeah, this yeah, one's yeah. for charter. What is it? It's a, it's a Princess S66. Okay. And it's called Negotiator. Fantastic. So if any, oh, nice. anybody wants to yeah, rent it. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful, wonderful. And it's lovely, you know. It's. It is nice, it's a beautiful boat. Mm. Yeah, Princess are yeah, wonderful. Oh, they, wonderful yeah, boats. absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I think nearly all the boats I have for chartered at the moment are Princess. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, I'm branding them, aren't I? Yeah, you are, you are. Yeah, we've got a good commission. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't forget me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. wonderful. Tracy, thanks for coming on to Storytellers Mallorca. I mean, your story is, is unique, totally. Uh, yeah. 32, 33 years that you've been yeah. here. You know, that's, that's, that's But wonderful. as a woman as well, in, yeah. in the yacht in the industry is very difficult as well. Right. You know, and, and it's just to prove to every woman out there, you yes. can do it. Yes, yes. You can do yeah. it. Yeah, everything's available here. Yeah. There's a huge support network here. Absolutely. Yeah. The support so, is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and, and like you, we've known each other for what, nearly 20 years. And, um, you know, if, if ever you need anything, you know, you can just pick up the phone. Even if you haven't exactly. spoken to someone for 10 years, yes. you know That's that you beauty, can just it? pick up the phone and say, hey, I need, I need yes. a hand, yes. can you help me? Yes. And everybody just says yes. Yeah. You know? no, it really is like that, yes. So that's fantastic. Tracy, thank you very much. That's wonderful. Listen, um, for those tuning into Storytellers New Yorker, it's been another fantastic interview and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Thank you, Share at webdesignshare.com for um, sponsoring and helping me with the website. And uh, please like, share, comment, and, uh, and do what you need to do. It's wonderful having you. So thanks, Tracy. Thank, thank you. you. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.